What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Well, let me check what's up. Um, the ceiling. That's what's up. And I know something funnier than 24. 25. Hmm. Oop, new dinosaur. What is... Is that a dinosaur or a Pokemon? Its tail is like a ball and a chain. What? You know what? I'm not even going to question it. Not even gonna. So, uh, basically what that guy does, he's like the other dinosaurs where he knocks the zombies around, except he knocks them like way far forward. So that guy is going to be bad news. Hope everyone is having a great day. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Uh, be sure to grab yourself a taco or a burrito or whatever you do to celebrate. Do that. So I have achieved enlightenment despite everything I've said since I got into this world. The perfume shroom is definitely good, but my big issue was I was basically ignoring everything else, not on purpose, but everything else was basically getting ignored. So I had a very poor defense. So I equipped one of the, if not the, best plant in PVZ2. And that is the Lightning Reed. Now, they're weak when there's only a few of them. But their strength comes in numbers, much like the Puff Shroom. Lightning Reed together, strong. Lightning Reed alone, weak. You see, he just punted him forward. And of course, I charmed him just a little bit too late. Too little, too late. The story of my life. I take her home, and she keeps me warm inside. Until the heating bill goes off. Now, I think, now what this lightning reed does, I've used him before, but it's been a while. Um, he doesn't do much damage, but he can hit multiple targets at once. Plus, it's actually pretty long range. And then his plant food, it just makes us, now, it is random. I wish it would target whoever's actually eating it. But it makes a storm cloud, and it just zaps. It goes from zombie to zombie. And, with the imitator, we can get these guys out pretty quickly. And it keeps turning the... F We've been over this game. If I want my feet licked, I'll ask for it. Quit turning the fast forward off. You know, it's really getting to be a problem, even if I wasn't recording. And I, oh, hey, 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 well, how, how did this? And that's another thing that's really challenging is in the first Plants vs. Zombies, when a lawnmower goes off, it gives you a little bit of time before zombies will start striking on that lane again. In the sequel, you get little to no time. Wait, we won? I have no idea how we won, but okay, we literally used every single lawnmower that I had. But yeah, once that lawnmower goes off, you almost have to ignore everything else. Like, you just gotta be on top of it. So yeah, Lightning Reed, it's cheap, it's effective, and a bit of a slow recharge, but the imitator takes care of that. Oh, and uh, 13 years ago, the very first Plants vs. Zombies came out, so happy birthday, Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, why'd they bring the mold back? So now we got even less space to work with. That's just peachy. Okay, I can, I can dill. I can dill pickle. We'll just give him some lightning. Do that. What did I have last time? I honestly can't remember what I had. 
Um, now I said the last time that the guy with the with the guy with the bone in his beard. He can. He's immune to the primal pea shooter, which is true. But he can also push walnuts out of the way, which is very bad. But even so, I'm still going to take the Primal Walnut because they recharge much quicker than the regular Walnut. Alright, well so far already we're doing a lot better than we were in the past. So I think the Lightning Reed's range, it's like a three-peter. It attacks three lanes. And the further you get from the lane that it's planted in, the closer it has to get. Oh, no, you don't. You think you're sneaky. But I'm on to you, zombie. I'm on to you. Oh, boy. All right, can you stop that? Well, this took a turn for the worst. Well, there goes two lawnmowers at once. Two. Just what the doctor ordered. Okay, well, these two are going to be really endangered now, these two rows. As long as the pterodactyl gets charmed, that's all I care about. Lately, these levels are like fever dreams. That guy went like a million miles an hour. I didn't even see him until he was past the lawn. Yeah, but these levels are like fever dreams. Like They go by so fast, yet it's so chaotic. Like, did the past really happen? Okay. They want to play competitive. Okay, let's rely a lot more on the puff shroom for the early, for the first few zombies. Yeah, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Puff Shroom, along with Lightning Reed, is a powerhouse. All right, I want to get at least two Lightning Reeds out before... Well, let's, let's make a Storm Cloud. Before I start with the Perfume Shrooms. All right, you, get... Did you just move out of the way and make me waste 150 sun? Did you, did you really just do that? Did you just do that? Oh, okay, I guess he can't push wall. I, th I thought he could push the walnuts, but I guess he can't. Good to know. Duly noted. Oh, there goes that lawnmower. What? What? Huh? What? Okay, now that's just not fair. The lawnmower was still mowing on the screen. And some dinosaur near the bottom or towards the middle, pushed it up on the lane, and sped the zombie up. That, that, the, there's challenge, and then there's just, you set me up for failure. Okay, forget the walnut, forget the spike weed. I need way more, like, emergency slash explosive plants. Now, that's one of the things I don't really like about the sequel. I like that they, the game is a little more fast-paced. And it definitely throws some challenge at you. But there's a difference between, like, making it actually challenging and then just what people call artificial difficulty. Now, what I mean by that is if you want to make a game like this harder... What you got to do is you got to, like, beckon more skill from the player. But then there's times where it's just, like, you got to just mindlessly plant a bunch of stuff as possible 
So you're basically just taking a shot in the dark and throwing spaghetti at the wall and just hoping that it sticks. So it becomes less about strategy and more just just frantically plant anything. Like Then it's not fun anymore. Then it's just repetitive at that point. Now, thankfully, there aren't too many levels like this. In fact, I would argue that the previous world, Neon Mixtape Tour, had the most... Um, they had the most levels like that. Where it was just mindless spamming. What was going to get you through. And the next world is a pretty big offender of that as well. But I think for the most part, and I'll get into more of this... When I finish Plants vs. Zombies 2... Oh, God. Oh, no, this is, not, this, is not, this is not the time. My own body is trying to sabotage me. This is not the time to be sneezing. You will not laugh. You will not cry. No annoying sounds. You will not, you will not sneeze or burp or fart. So just no, no annoying sounds. If you if you if you know where that's from, you're awesome. If you know what I just referenced, leave a like. Anyway, I gotta stop doing these side tangents because I lose my train of thought way way too easily. Oh, so when I finish this game, or when I finish making a ma making videos about it, another last stand. Well, you know what to do. Say it with me now. Give me an E. Give me an L. Electric Blueberry. Okay, seriously. So what I, what I was saying is once I get finished with this series, I'll make like a video about, you know, my final thoughts on this game versus uh, the first one. So I'm not going to go into too much detail here, but I'll give it a little bit. Like I said, for the most part, I do think this is an improvement over the first one. But the number one thing is you get a few levels where, like, it doesn't... It's not about, like, making a good strategy. It's just, oh, God, the zombies are coming. Quick, plant this. Like, you just mindlessly spam. And then at that point, like, you know, like I said, you know, it's not fun anymore. Okay, so anyway, now with not in Wild West or Frostbite Caves, because that's, that's one of the only weaknesses that this plant has. Um, if you get a zombie that dispatches like a bunch of targets then Electric Blueberry is not good. But in Last Stand, when you can plant a bunch of them, it basically just annihilates everything. I think, like, I said Lightning Reed was one of the best plants, but this is easily, like, top. Okay, I didn't know it could do that. So, uh, newsflash. In addition to punting a zombie far forward... These guys can also punt them, and then they shove plants off the screen. Uh, I didn't know that. I, I didn't study for this test. Daddy, I want to go home. I'm not big enough for this ride. Oh, wait, we won. Hmm. I wasn't even worried. You didn't, you didn't hear any of that. I wasn't freaking out. We were totally fine. We were never in any danger, and we weren't going to die. Certainly not. We got plenty of brains. Crazy Dave's got, like, brains on backup. I mean, how else are we surviving? Because I've definitely lost. You know, I'm not going to cover that up. I've definitely lost a few times since I started playing. So I'm obviously alive somehow. And this is before laws were invented, so. You know what? I know some people aren't going to like what I'm about to do. 
But this is basically the same level as what I played, just not the mold one, because the mold was new. There's no, like, challenges, like, um, you know, don't spend more than a thousand sun or something like that. I also noticed that there's no gargantuars. And the dinosaurs are all the same. This is literally the same level. The only difference, and I've seen this happen in other worlds, the only difference is they're just going to add more flags. So, I'm going to skip this level. What is this level? I think it was level 28. Now, again, I know I'm going to get some flack for that. But I don't want I don't want this to become too repetitive. So, I'm just going to... And that's another thing, like... I said this in the last one. Some of this really could have been cut down. Like, it feels like some of these levels were just added to, like, pad out the game. See, now this is different. I mean, yes, it's mostly the same enemies, but they put a twist on it. Or they pick the plants. So, if you're mad that I skipped that level, well, I'm sorry, but... You know, I just don't want things to get stagnant, that's all. All right. So anyway, take a breath because there's more oxygen in this atmosphere. Yeah, apparently the sky used to be green. Or wait, no, not, not the sky. The ocean was green. And then it released a bunch of oxygen, so now it's blue. Well, they did not give us perfume shrooms, so we are in for quite the rude awakening. I still don't know what that says. I know when the regular potato mine explodes, it says spadow. But what does the what does the primal one say? It's like spalorp. I really don't know. Here, I'm gonna try to read it. Okay, he's gonna hit it. Was spadop. So it's like a more exclamation of spadow. Spadoop. I think I think it says Spadoop. I'm just going to say Spadoop. It's probably wrong, but whatever. I mean, the pronunciation of words is not really important. So we can just forget about that. Now, if we don't have the bullies mixed in, these primal pea shooters are actually pretty good. Because the rate of fire is slower, but not the fact that it knocks them back is really invaluable. You know, that's weird. Inval it's very valuable, but why it is... Oh, wait, there is bullies. Oh, well. You know, all we have to do is just put up a no bullies, one of those, like, bully-free zones... Like, oh, man, we can't bully anymore. Well, that's over. Um, like, bi-weekly, that word is stupid. Because it could mean once every two weeks or two times every week. Or wait, no, wait, let me start over. So bi-weekly could mean once every two weeks or two times a week. Like, why do we have one word with two different meanings and it's not like wow i'm really sucking it's not like a homophone like blue and blue like i blew bubbles and the wallpaper is blue it's not like two different words that sound the same but are different it's like literally the same word but like did we just get lazy like what happened okay so the bully can still get damaged by the primal piece or it just doesn't get knocked back. I see. I, I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm picking it up. Um, and that bully is just tanking for the gargantuar. Well, once this bully dies, we've won because there's lawnmowers on the rest of the remaining threats. 
Hmm. You stupid gargantuar. So big and tough on the outside, but just a scared little wimp. He can't even do anything. Can't even move. Who's the bully now, huh? Shoes on the other foot. Getting the short end of the club here. Not so gargantuan anymore, are you? Oh, so that you think that imp is going to stop me, huh? Well, that imp is going to be your very demise. Death by lawnmower. That is gruesome. That's got to hurt. Ooh, yay, we upgrade that. It's not very often that you get seeds for a sun uh, for a sun producing plant. See, that's just kind of stupid. Just make another word for it. Just uh, okay. I want to say it's been like twenty minutes, so we can keep going for a little while. Where there, there she is. Level up. Primal Sunflower has reached level 3. Primal Sunflowers pop out large suns instead of regular ones. Now what they don't tell you is that they produce suns slower. So when you only have a few of them, it's almost like just having a regular sunflower. But like with most plants, their strength comes in numbers. Primal Sunflower is new to all this sun-giving business, so be patient with her. She's an early adopter of the all-you-can-stuff-yourself buffet style of sun production. So basically an American going to every other country and wondering why there's not piles of food. That makes sense. Why did it really why did it put me back here? And I know there's like endless versions or there's endless levels of all the different worlds. I will come back to those. Um... After I complete the adventure mode and after I, um, you know, after I complete the little side quests, I'll go back and do the endless modes. Where do we leave off? Did we already play this level? I am such a Shafid. We already played this level. Get me out of here. This might be a slightly longer episode because we're I I kind of want to finish this world today. We're only, you know what? Grab your popcorn cuz it's going to be a long one. We're breaking that 30 minutes. In most cases, and we're skipping this one because well, they do have the Gargantuar this time, but they don't have all the... Yeah, I'm skipping this one. Yeah, like I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Um, sometimes to for, like, filler, they'll either make no changes to a level. Like, they'll literally just give you the same level twice. Or they'll make, like, the smallest minute of changes that it almost doesn't matter. And not to... Oh, once again, they're going to pick the plants for us. Now, I've always asked, why do they get to pick the plants? But I think I know why. Crazy Dave actually explained it near the beginning of the game. The very first time that I played it. It's kind of like a butterfly effect. Like, you step on a butterfly and you come back and, like, the world's just messed up. That's why you have to pick these plants. Because if you pick, like, different plants, you're going to mess up everything. Like, you're going to get back, and Biff is going to be the president. Gas prices will actually be cheap. Well, I wouldn't mind that. I wouldn't mind that at all. But worst of all, you pick these different plants that aren't the ones that I'm planting. You get back to the present, and Shrek will not exist. They will have never made those movies. So we can't be having that. 
and that's why we got to have these plants. Yeah, if you're new to my channel, first of all, uh, welcome viewer. I hope you're having, I hope you're being entertained. You know, I do my best. If you like my, if you like the videos that I make, you can hit the subscribe button because then obviously it'll tell you when I make a new video. I try to upload every day. I, I either upload in the morning or in the evening because now I'm not going to call it a night shift because most times I work like from 10 o'clock to one o'clock in the morning. So not exactly the graveyard shift, but I end up sleeping for most of the day for most days. So sometimes I upload in the morning or if I fall asleep, I'll upload in the evening. But nine times out of 10, you're going to get a new video every day. Now, I, know, I don't usually tell people to subscribe because I just, I think people find that annoying. Plus, that's just basic human logic. Like, if I tell you to do something, you're not going to do it. Like, oh, well, you, you know, you told me to do something. I'm not going to do it anymore. Plus, you know, it's annoying. Like, oh, hey, guys, make sure you drop a fat like and you better ring that bell or there's going to be a tarantula in your bed tonight. Like, that's just... I think people just find that kind of annoying. So I'll, I'll remind you every once in a while, but I'm not going to be like in your face about it, like every single video. So if you like my stuff, then thank you for watching. And no, don't worry. The video's not ending. Um, you know, thanks for sticking with me. And you know, when I finish this game, it's going to be kind of bittersweet. Because I've been doing this game on YouTube for like a couple months. And if you've been watching ever since the days of ancient Egypt. When I couldn't figure out how to like get the video straight and it was like sideways. If you've been there since day one. Uh, thank you for sticking around. And I'm not in it for like this. It's not even applied for monetization. I just do it for the lulls because I can. Because as a famous dog movie once said, there ain't no rule against it. So I just do it for fun. And then a little piece of advice for anyone who wants to start YouTube. Don't go into it thinking you're going to be like the next Mr. Beast or PewDiePie. Because most of it does come down to luck. Um, you know, people got to see the video. It's got to get recommended in the algorithm. You know, you just... You got to get lucky. Plus, um, if you really want to make it big, uh, you're going to be at the mercy of whatever's popular at the time. And fad is one letter away from fade, and that's exactly what happens. They fade away. Like, I haven't seen anyone play with a fidget spinner in, like, two years. I have a fidget spinner, but it's like collecting dust on my shelf. So, honestly, just... Just roll with it. Just have fun with it. Do what makes you feel happy. That's really... And that's not just for YouTube. That's just for life in general. You know, follow your dreams, but just be mindful of where you're going. All right. Enough with the pep talk. Zomboss. Well, he hasn't returned. We're just fighting him again. So, he summons dinosaurs and zombies. That's what he does. I think this is called the Mechazor. That's what this robot's called. Almost every Zomboss fight is going to have those missiles. Honestly, the missiles aren't that bad because they only take out like two of the plants. Now, when it comes to Zomboss fights, nothing is going to be nearly as bad as the first game when he throws that RV or van, whatever that is. Prepare to die again, Zomboss. I still can't believe when we fought him in the 80s that they just let him get away. They could have shot him, but no. And now we have to go through this. Do you just fire a laser? Do you just fire... He did. Oh, wow. Okay, then. 
This is getting serious. Oh, and I just found out um, the perfume shroom, when you plant it, I didn't mean to put that bonk choy there. Um, you can't plant on the row for a little while after you plant the perfume shroom because there's, like, dust on the ground. Like, here, I planted it. You see there's dust on the ground, and I can't plant while there's dust there from the perfume shroom. Since I started playing Jurassic Marsh, that's what this world is called, I've probably said the word perfume shroom. Wait, we beat him already? Well, that was one of the easiest fights ever. That was anticlimactic. I barely even tried. I just casually put plants down. Well, why are they still... Well, at least they still tried. Okay. Just keep firing and just kill him. No, nope, we're just going to let him get away. Yeah, you better run. Well, now it's the end of the video. The exit is to your left. Go through the gift shop. Pick out a plush. Well, I don't have any merch, so... Just... How about just leave a like? That's, that's all. That's all. You just leave a like and then get out of here. Because it's over. Thank you all for watching. I hope you were well entertained. Again, this may have gone a bit over 30 minutes. I apologize if it did. I try my best, but you know, sometimes it can't be helped. And before I go, I just want to say one thing that bothers me is that it's May and it's still cold. Like I go outside, I got to put a jacket on. So what I want to do, my birthday's coming up. I'm going to move somewhere warm. Now I've been asking around, like I went on Facebook, I asked my neighbor and they all recommended a uh, big wave beach. It's a nice place this time of year. So later dudes.